What is going on, everybody? Tiny Mason 21 here. We are back again with some more Onori content and Capstone Free. So, ooh, okay. Last week's chapter was. I I honestly felt like it was more of a you know a warm up chapter. It felt like it was gonna be nothing too crazy. I kind of liked the interaction between like. John, Zarafina, and basically everything that legitimately happened, like in that said episode. And even though I know I didn't talk about it a lot, like I said I would, and I I, I do wholeheartedly apologize. Like it literally slipped my mind like after I recorded. But overall, I thought the whole chapter was like pretty good in my personal opinion. But now seeing that literally Evie is gonna be on like the cover of this chapter I, I am genuinely like you know ready to see what happens in this chapter so yeah without further ado let's get this started cue my intro All right, boys, we are back here again. Okay, so we're back at the obligatory pool beach swimsuit episode. And we just start off with Remy. Oh, my lord. It, it's okay. Keep paddling. You're doing fine. I'm just going to stay back here so I don't get electrocuted. <laughs> ah, I know. I remember that picture. I think it's on the wiki somewhere, or the fandom, whatever the heck you call it now, but everybody knows what picture I'm talking about. How far out am I? Don't worry, you're still in the shallow end. I'm dead. Bro, not even gonna cap? That is me. But my only thing is, I have scoliosis though. I, I don't know her excuse. Swimming, swimming is not that easy. Hey guys, you done swimming already? Nah, just take a quick break. We're telling ghost stories right now. Oh, I love ghost stories. The anime? <laughs> you guys know exactly what anime I'm talking about when I say ghost stories. <laughs> if if y'all don't, you you guys are uncultured swines. If y'all never heard ghost stories done before. <laughs> oh my god, that is the greatest thing since sliced bread when it comes to anime, bruh. Got any good ones? Uh, actually, I do. So let's hear it. Okay, so this is a thumbnail of the chapter right here. All right, everyone, gather around. This is a story about the woman who haunts room four one four of Motel Roden. Motel Roden, you just made up a on spot. Shh. They say that that's where she was strangled to death by a high tier. Most people who have stayed in four one four have reported hearing screaming at night. Sometimes they saw a reflection of a room in, woman in the mirror. They have. There have ever been times when visitors have gone missing, but one man, a high seer, refused to believe the stories and wanted to prove they were all made up. Is that John? Others warned him, but he was too frightful to back down. He booked the room for three nights, when most people couldn't even make it through one. So when he heard screams, he blamed it on the wind. When he caught glimpses of the reflection, he blamed it on bad lighting. No matter the warnings, he stayed in room 414. Then one night he woke up to use the restroom, and while he was washing his hands, the water felt thick thicker than used. Oh, oh shit! Before he could react, cold, scaly fingers softly tightened around his neck. He gasped for air, screamed, and tried to defend himself, but it was no use. In his final moments, he caught a glimpse in the mirror and saw not himself, but a woman with rotting flesh. Oh, oh, sh oh, sheesh! Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Her soul is eyes staring right into his. Hey, yo! Hey, hey, yo! Oh, oh, Christ! Oh! I. That face. 
at that face. <laughs> That's not okay. Dud. Shit, she freaked me out, bruh. Bro, even John was scared, bruh. Why is he listening in? Uh, John, would you like to join us? <laughs> Bro, she traumatized this man just now. Plans change. Why? We reevaluated the assignment and it was determined to be more difficult than originally expected. And it was determined to be more. Oh, I already said that. That seemed unusually careless, Inspector. So, what's the assignment? Tomorrow we're gonna pay attention to the next shit. The the fuck you the fuck you just say? You gonna go where? It's a mid-sized campus that's fairly isolated. Your objective will be treat two assets. Research documentation and a physical sample. And what's this research about? It's called, they call it conversion technology. Conversion technology? What's that? Doesn't concern us. What? What? It, it might have to concern you. It's called conversion technology. Anyway, tomorrow there will be a team of four supporting you. Team? That's right. I will provide transportation. A technician will handle surveillance equipment. A communicator will keep in touch while you're inside. And finally, a planted next gen employee will be your guide. Here. Mm. It's a map of the building. Memorize it for tomorrow just in case. Your objectives are, to, are located on two separate floors. Green areas are your safe zones, while black areas are your destination. You will need to maneuver between these areas undetected. And everything you need is in everything else you need in here. This is really elaborate clothes. You'll assume the identity of Meryl. Why does that name sound faintly familiar? I'll, I'll, I'll remember it sometimes then. Who has arrived to offer help with Next Gen's research? Don't worry, this is just a front. You won't have to actually speak with anyone inside. They even have a fake ID for me. We'll meet back here tomorrow at dawn and you'll see more detailed instructions on site. Any questions? A lot! <laughs> Where do I even start? Run resort. Well, that's enough stories for a lifetime. Who knew Evie could be so spooky? Hey, you got. Hey, you got the text from him late. Oh fuck! <laughs> Ar Arlo. Damn. He 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 oh, he 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 really elbowed man in the gut. Elbowed man in the chest though. Where the hell did he even come from? Arlo just like the 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 fuck just <laughs> Arlo's over here like the fuck just happened like what hello wait did did this really just happen like, who what happened like I see I I see everything in Arlo's face like now like I I feel it like in my soul right now bro did I scare you <laughs> no yes good guys you are here come in I asked Elaine to leave a bit. So, what's going on? They finally contacted me about my assignment. I'll be gone tomorrow at 7 a.m. Tomorrow? Not tonight? Don't all secret missions happen at night? That's how they planned it. And me, I mean, it still works out. The assignments will take three hours. So, I'll be able to meet you guys up at the city at 10. And still have time to tour with everyone. So, what are they making you do? Do you need assistance? Everything been accounted for. I still have some preparations to make, so I'll tell you once I complete the assignment. Hmm. Bro, like seeing Arlo and John just not at each other's throats is bizarre. While I'm gone, remember to stay close to everyone and don't let like or Remy out your sight. Phew. Just one more day and we're done. This trip may have been uneventful, but I still really praise both of you for coming out here. Next morning at 7 a.m. Ah, there you're. Hello? Oh, 
Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, I need to clean my glasses off real quick. I, I know I ain't seen this right. God damn. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. That drip. The, the outfit. Oh, oh my lord. Oh my lord. I found dumb, found piece number one. I found piece number two. And I found piece number three. No, not that piece. I found the three pieces to my thumbnail already, right then and there. Ooh boy, ooh boy, ooh, ooh boy. Yeah, I got a lot to talk about, so, uh, post episode. Alright, we are actually in post episode now. Ooh, ooh boy, ooh, ooh boy. So, uh, not gonna lie, pretty short chapter. Then the end happened. Ooh boy, my my simp my simp radar went off the charts just now. Yeah, so the first bit, I don't say that so I don't get electrocuted. For those that know about the picture, which I know everybody pretty much does by now, yeah, that's that's what he's referring to, bruh. Then the ghost stories, man. I I didn't think I didn't think Edie would be scary enough to scare John, bruh. Like that that came out of nowhere. Not gonna lie, I, the story the story I felt like it was based on a true story. If anything, like Earl, you really did a good job with that story, bruh. Like real real talk. Then then the Edie picture, do, do, dog, <laughs> dog. <laughs> Yo, give give her like some black pupils, bruh. Ooh boy. Then she even scared John, bruh. And like, yo, everybody over here just like, damn, did that really just happen? Did, did homeboy really just fall out of his seat just like that? Like, was was homie listening? Charlie was. <laughs> then, then the second part when they were talking about assignment, like they were hella specific, but the thing that got me the most is like, is none of our concern. So they they really are pushing the point that they're just pawns in this, and Seraphine's just like, bro, what the actual fuck is happening here? Like, you know, like I I, I see where Seraphina is coming from. Like, I have a whole lot of questions, but no inspector, they're not going to answer them. Not relatively easy, easily at least. That that's just me. Like. I'm not even gonna cap. I feel like something will go wrong in this mission. I feel like something will go wrong. They said like, oh, go inside and collect this data and all this type of stuff, but it's not really gonna be that simple. I I, I seen I seen the movies. Like you get something, the alarm goes off, y'all need to escape. And I feel like that's gonna happen here. And that's what I'm feeling like. Okay, my video is still rendering on my phone. But when they said next gen, when they said next gen, the only thing I can think of is like Jane, and that was from like the season finale. Yeah, that was like heavy season finale, season one finale. Like that's the only thing I can like think of when I hear like that name. Where where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Yeah, mid-season finale. I gotta fact check my stuff real quick. Some sort of facility heavily guarded. Yeah, right here. Next gen. So I I feel I feel like Seraphina is gonna figure like something out. Or like see something and she probably gonna connect like all the pieces together. Like you, you get what I'm saying? Like that's that's what I feel. That's why I feel like it's gonna happen. I feel like in this next gen facility, they're gonna find some information about Jane. And if anything, seeing like pictures from like the missing finale of um what happened, I I I feel like either a she's gonna be there, 
or be there's gonna be something about her and i think it would be related to like this conversion technology that, that next gen is making and if that's the case that's probably why they ain't tell seraphina yet but even still i i, I got a whole bunch of theories right now and i'm probably gonna share them with jay later if anything or with the rest of the jokers Wh whichever whichever one comes first if i had to really be honest but yeah moving moving on uh ch -ch -ch. when she meets back up with when they meet back up with john yo when arlo scared the shit out of john bro that that was hilarious no you got a text from elaine and i was just like did i scare you <laughs> bro i i i i i i just love seeing like the non-violence and like them working together So what's going on? So they were talking about like the assignment was actually gonna happen. And John was like, don't all see your bitch snap at night. Now you play real good solid, bro. <laughs> no, like, I like the fact that it was like, yo, do we do you need any assistance with that? And I, I, I feel like I feel like she is gonna need some assistance with this said mission. I I feel like this jank is gonna go all wrong, and it's gonna be like bad. And speaking of bad, bruh, my my sim radar is like over a thousand right now, bruh. I I, I am popping off. You know, let you know. Let me let me get let me get off this shit real quick. But overall, I I think the chapter is like really good. I I just want to see what happens next chapter. I'm like, what's the thumbnail for next chapter looking like? Okay, so Seraphina in that set outfit. So we're we're gonna see stuff from her perspective. Okay, cool, 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 cool. But um, yeah, overall good chapter. Definitely can't wait to see more. Um. I don't really have much more to really say other than that, but hope you guys like this content. Hit that like button, subscribe, and comment if you are new. And I'll see you guys next video. Uh, update video. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure when that's coming out. Like, ever since my castle got free, I've been playing catch up. So it, I, I know that should be no excuse, but oh boy. I'll just I'll just be I'll just be satisfied when three the three weeks of college are over, bruh. That's that's all I'm saying, but uh yeah.